its fall in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, and the rivers choked with salmon. Thousands of these fish are returning to lay eggs in the place they were born. Salmon get their start in these rivers. The cold, clean, and well-oxygenated water is vital to their initial survival. But soon after they're born, they leave this fresh water for a life in the sea. Unlike most freshwater fish, salmon move freely between the two environments. A salmon's brain sends hormones to its body so it can adjust to changes in salt content. The fish spend as many as eight years swimming in the sea, then head back to fresh water to lay their eggs. Most return to the exact stream where they were born. Scientists think they rely on the Earth's magnetic field to guide them in the ocean. Then their sharp sense of smell directs them to the right stream. It's a treacherous, often uphill journey, but these salmon are built to take it. They navigate around tricky obstacles, jump through waterfalls, and log hundreds of miles on their way. If that weren't enough, they also have to dodge dozens of predators in search of a good meal. Traveling against the river's current can be exhausting, but a calm pool behind the rocks provides a good place to rest. Near the end of the trip, salmon stop eating and their skin turns red. The pigment that colors their flesh moves into their skin as they use up stored fat. Finally, they reach a shallow location ideal for laying eggs. The females dig a nest in the gravel, while the males guard against predators. A female salmon can lay more than 3,000 eggs at a time. The males protect the eggs until the females die. This journey marks the end of a salmon's life. Worn out and starving, both males and females die soon after spawning. As their bodies decompose, they provide nutrients for the next generation. After about four months, the salmon eggs hatch. The young fish spend several months in the river before heading to the sea. This amazing cycle begins all over again. <laughs>